Hello Hornets, I'm Nolan Tamman. And I'm Jacob Kierkoff. This week we're covering signing day and bringing you the game of the week. Then we'll spotlight the basketball pep band. All of us and more on this episode of Hornet Nation. And kicking things off on February 2nd, some student athletes attended Signing Day. Uh, what is Signing Day? Well, Signing Day is when these up and coming athletes sign to commit to a college of their choice. Brady Nocturne brings us more. Hey, Hornets! Today's a good day because it's Signing Day. Tons of Celine students and families are here to see as the seniors sign for college teams. These Hornets are moving on to play sports on the college level, but what advice do they have that helped them to get there? I would just say make sure you enjoy every day. I know the days get long, long practices. It might seem not worth it, but in the end it's definitely worth the memories. And then you can enjoy it in the next four years playing the sport you love. So just make sure you never take a moment for granted. I actually, I started as one of the slowest kids on the team. Fun fact, I was kid number 68 out of 74 as a freshman. I worked really hard, I got a lot faster, and so this year I was the number five kid on the team. So that was pretty cool. I've come quite a long way. The recruiting process is definitely interesting too. Honestly, I had my mind set at a different school, and then hope kind of like came in last minute. So yeah, I'm happy with my decision though. Very, very excited. I wanted to study engineering and swim, and it was kind of hard to find that um, combination, but I ended up finding one that was the perfect fit. Just keep working hard, and if your dream is to play in college, it really is possible. Man, what an exciting day for these Hornets. Really does go to show that commitment is the true key to success. Reporting from Hornet Nation, I'm Brady Nocturne. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Brady. Although we were only able to interview four athletes at the event, there were 15 total that celebrated the day. Those names are on your screen now. Congratulations to everyone who signed. Quite an exciting day for our student athletes. Up next, we have Gymnastics of the Week. I think you mean Game of the Week? Yes, same thing. That's what I meant. This time, all the way from Jackson, Michigan. Joshua Gregory brings us more. On Wednesday, February 1st, the Celine Gymnastics team flipped into a meet against Jackson. I think it went pretty good. A lot of people went for new skills, and a lot of people made those new skills, um, but we have a lot of work to do for the rest of the season, but we're all excited for it. The Hornets conveyed some of the challenges they faced at the meet. We're healing through some injuries right now, and Jackson is definitely one of our biggest competitors. And they're almost triple our team size, so we definitely tried our best tonight. But the fun and competitive spirit isn't the main reason these girls joined the gymnastics team. Definitely the community that you have with your teammates, um, no matter the size, like we're all really close and um, it gives you that kind of uh, family that, um, yeah, like a second family, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've known these girls for a very long time. Um, we're both seniors, I know, I've known Rachel forever um, and it's just really nice to see all of my club friends come here and we have our nice little school community. Everyone did very well during this event, and the top scorers for Celine were Jenna Griffin with a 9.0 on vault, Briar Rose Mackey with a 7.5 on bars, Rachel Bryant-White with a 8.3 on beam, and Jenna Griffin again with an 8.4 on floor. The full team scores are on your screen now, and congratulations to all the athletes who competed in this event. Even though they lost 138.2 to 126.7, they all performed very well and had a great time. Reporting for Hornet Nation, I'm Joshua Gregory. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Joshua. That was impressive work from our gymnastics team. This is, was their fifth meeting, and their next meet is on the 18th. We hope you enjoyed the game of the week. All right, before we wrap up today's show, we have one last package for you. Every day, hundreds of fans flock to Hornet events to cheer on their favorite athletes. Some games are exciting, and some not so much. But one sport has added a new feature to hype up the crowd and create the home team advantage. Alex, Alex Gutowski brings us more. If you've attended a basketball game at Celine High School, you've probably heard the basketball pep band. This crew of musicians performs at various home boys and girls basketball games throughout the basketball season. 
basically what Pepin is, is it's really just a way for us to ramp up the energy, I guess. The biggest thing we want to do is create a positive environment and make the, the team feel like they have a little bit of a home court advantage with our fight song going and um, creating energy for the fans. Back when I first started here in 1997, we had a basketball band for about 15 years, and I did it most of that time. Um, and then it stopped for about 10, 11 years, we didn't have a basketball band, and uh, we just brought it back last year. We had a wonderful student teacher um, who started it last year for us, and then he moved, and so um, I took it over this year. The band was brought back for a few key reasons. Mostly we want to bring energy um, and positive um, vibe to the basketball games, and um, bands have a great way to do that. The pep band is designed to help cheer on the players and get the audience more engaged too with what's happening in the game. A lot of the people that are in it were in marching band so they have a lot of the stuff that we play memorized. I'm not in marching band and it was really easy to pick up just because of how energetic and helpful everybody is. I would say probably three quarters of the people that are in um, basketball band are in marching band but what I like about it is it's kind of a good stepping stone for people that think they might want to be in marching band but aren't really sure what that music is like and what that vibe is like and it's, it's a great way to try that without the, the really long commitment of doing marching band. If you're in band or orchestra at Celine High School, reach out to your instructor for more information on joining the band. Reporting for Hornet Nation, I'm Alex Skatowski. Back to you in the studio. Well, that was a nice note to end things off with. If you'd like to see the pep band perform, they are back in action at the girls' varsity basketball game on February 21st. And that'll be all for this show, folks. Tune in next time for Name and Image Likeness, seeing where some of our former SHS athletes are now, and look into bass fishing. Be sure to follow us on Twitter for the latest show updates at Nation Hornet and at Celine Video on YouTube and Instagram. I'm Dylan Tamman. And I'm Jacob Kierkoff. Have, Have a, a great, great day, day Hornets. Hornets.